You might wonder what we mean when we talk about determining the origin of ventricular ectopic beats, because ventricular ectopic beats obviously come from the ventricles. But we can be smarter than that when we look at the 12 lead ECG, because we can determine approximately what region of the ventricles the ectopic beats originate from. And this is important clinically, because ventricular ectopic beats may arise because of an underlying pathology, such as a cardiomyopathy. And if we know approximately where the ventricular ectopic beats are coming from, we know where to focus on with our imaging studies to see if there is an underlying problem. And this is the topic that we're going to look at in this video. Now we take inspiration for the topics for our videos from the Med Mastery audience. And so I'm grateful to these Med Mastery audience members for suggesting this topic for the video. So how do we work out exactly where ventricular ectopic beats are coming from? Well, there are two questions that we need to answer. The first question is, are the ventricular ectopics arising from the left ventricle or the right ventricle? And once we've answered that question, we need to ask whether the ectopic beats are arising from the apex of the ventricle or from the base of the ventricle. So to answer question one, which ventricle the ventricular ectopic beats are coming from, uh, we need to look at the chest leads, that's leads V1 to V6. And we have to look at the ventricular ectopic beats in these leads and look at their morphology. And what we want to know is whether these ventricular ectopics have got a left bundle branch block or a right bundle branch block morphology. If a ventricular ectopic beat arises in the right ventricle, then it will activate the right ventricle first before activating the left ventricle. And this is a pattern of depolarization that we see in left bundle branch block. So when a ventricular ectopic beat arises from the right ventricle, it will have a left bundle branch block morphology. Conversely, ventricular ectopic beats arising in the left ventricle will have a right bundle branch block morphology on the same principle. So if we look at this ECG here, the ventricular ectopic beats have a left bundle branch block morphology, and that means that these ventricular ectopics are arising in the right ventricle. To answer the second question, whether the ectopic beats are arising from the base or the apex of the ventricle, we need to look at the limb leads. And in particular, we need to look at the ventricular ectopic beats in leads 2, 3, and AVF. Now these are the inferior limb leads, and they are, if you like, looking at the heart from the inferior surface. So if an ectopic beat arises towards the base of the left or the right ventricle, it will travel inferiorly. It will travel from the base towards the apex of the heart. And we know that if a impulse is traveling towards a lead, then we will see an upright complex in that lead. So if we look at the ECG here, we can see that the ventricular ectopics uh, in leads 2, 3 and AVF are indeed upright. They and so we know that the ventricular ectopic beats must have arisen in the base of the ventricle and uh, are travelling towards the apex, in other words, towards leads 2, 3 and AVF. Conversely, if a ventricular ectopic beat arises at the apex and travels towards the base, then we'd expect to see negative QRS complexes in the inferior leads because the impulse is travelling away from those leads. And that's really all there is to it. It's a very simple process and a very quick process to work out which uh, ventricle and which part of a ventricle uh, the ventricular ectopic beats are arising from. So to summarise, we begin by looking at the chest leads and we look at the morphology of the ventricular ectopic beats. If they have a left bundle branch block morphology, then the ectopics are coming from the right ventricle. If they have a right bundle branch block morphology, then they're coming from the left ventricle. And then we look at the limb leads, and in particular the inferior leads 2, 3 and AVF. And we look at whether the ventricular ectopics uh, have a uh, positive or negative morphology in those leads. If the ventricular ectopics are coming from the base of the left or the right ventricle and travelling towards the apex, 
that will give rise to positive ventricular ectopics in the inferior leads. Conversely, if they're arising at the apex and travelling towards the base, then we will see a negative complex in the inferior leads. And so using this principle, we can narrow down the origin of ventricular ectopics to one of four quadrants, the left or right ventricle and the apex or base of the relevant ventricle. And it's really as simple as that. So if we return to the original ECG that we've been looking at, we can see that in the chest leads, the ectopic beats have a left bundle branch block morphology, which means they arise from the right ventricle. And in the limb leads, we can see that the ectopic beats are upright in the inferior leads, which means that they are arising from the base of the right ventricle and traveling towards the apex. In other words, these ventricular ectopics are arising in the region of the right ventricular outflow tract, which is a common region uh, for the origin of ventricular ectopic beats.